Do's and don'ts for a kitchen renovation. Here we go. Do not demolish your kitchen. Dismantle it instead. You'd be surprised to know how easy it would be to sell it. That extra return could be the difference between that mid-range countertop that you can afford and the one you actually really want to get. Donate. So many people can use your old kitchen. Habitat for Humanity is a great organization that helps people in need. So pay it forward. Feels great. Do not clutter your countertops. When you're redoing your kitchen layout, think of all those appliances that you use daily and prioritize these inside your cabinetry space. Do deep drawers to accommodate bigger appliances such as blenders, crock pots, water boilers, and toasters. Do not clutter the drawers. Do think ahead for a perfectly functional, clutter-free kitchen. So do a major cleanup and get rid of all of those double items that you have or the things you haven't used in years. It will clear up the space that you need to install those appliances that you don't want to put on your countertops. Do not install two handles on long drawers. We never pull both handles exactly at the same time and if your sliding mechanisms are getting old and tired, the two handles are probably the reason for it. Do handles that have conventional standard sizes so that if you change them down the line, it will be easier for you to find the perfect length for the existing holes. Do not try to squeeze in an island in your kitchen if it doesn't fit. Many of us dream of having an island for extra working surface or an area to gather around, but if this compromises the functionality of the kitchen, don't do it. If you really, really want an island and the space is too small, do a movable one on wheels that you can bring into the kitchen when needed and make sure that you have a designated place for it when it's out of the kitchen. Do waterfall counters for your island. Talk about a statement. Do a walk-in pantry. If your space permits it, this will make your kitchen feel like a chef's kitchen. You can see everything you got in there and get inspired to cook the best meals for your family. Do sliding shelves inside your pantry for easy access. Do not cut short on your cabinet's heights. An empty space above your cabinets is just a dust collector. Do your cabinets up to the ceiling. Even if the upper shelves are less used, store the dishes you only use for guests. If you're just doing a refresh in your kitchen, do close that space if you have one. A few pieces of wood and a little bit of paint and you're all set. I hope these tricks will help you get the kitchen of your dreams.